So Dee, welcome to five minutes uh, with Warwick TV. Uh, you know the rules, we have to be relatively brief, uh, but also, you know, don't just give one word answers. Yeah? yeah? Perfect. Okay, so if you want to count me in, I will start the timer. Three, two, one, we are off. Okay, how's the campaign gone so far? Well, basically, my campaign's been quite difficult because I've had financial issues, and until today, I haven't been really able to mobilise my posters. Okay. But I've also tried to avoid plaguing students with posters everywhere because one of the things I spoke to, a lot of people told me that they were annoyed by the fact that you can't get to the library without being pestered, mm -hmm. you can't walk around without seeing leaflets everywhere. Yeah. And I think, given that like fossil free Warwick was quite one of the big things that people, students were talking about, I think it's a bit hypocritical to be talking about how we care about the environment and then spend dozens of loads of money plastering around needlessly when we don't need to. We have social media. We can easily advertise our stuff online or have people come meet you in your, sort of like cafe hours. Will your posters be coming then or is that something you're not well, going to be doing? It's something that I don't want to do because yeah. I think if we're going to say as a student union we are pro-environment, yeah. then we can't be wasting cardboard on like simply to write my name when people are already out and campaigning because we have videos on mm -hmm. on the big plaza TV. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Uh, what's the most important part of your manifesto? For me, the most important part of my manifesto is the neoliberalism at Warwick. I think that is the biggest issue. I think we've gone from students as producers of knowledge to students as just consumers, where we just we just come here. We're so worried about our graduate like employment that we just rush to internships and internships. But I think at the age of 21, you shouldn't have to know what you want going to do for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. I think you should, university should be about exploring what you want to be, as opposed to coming here and then saying, I do economics, I'm going to go into banking, I do history, I'm going to be a historian, mm -hmm. or I do law and I'm going to go into law. I think as students, we should be encouraged to explore everything, as opposed to this narrow stream of a factory where we just consume and pick up things wherever we go. So you prefer students to just learn for the sake of learning? Yeah, I think that's what university should be about. Oh, fair enough. Uh, Describe yourself in a single word. Um, arrogant. Arrogant? Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, what is the one thing you could not live without? Um, the one thing I couldn't live without is probably music. Yeah? Yeah. What style of music do you like of all sorts? Um, well, I'm into reggae music and uh -huh. hip-hop music, and but mostly... Um, Aretha Franklin, Young, yeah. Gifted and Black. That song, I have to listen to it when I wake up and I have to listen to it when I go to sleep. Uh, what has been the highlight of your year so far? The highlight of my year was probably um, during January, I had a bit of a nervous breakdown and I went on a drinking spree where I spent two grand in one month and that was very fun. <laughs> Probably not for the next few, but maybe on that yeah, one. Yeah, I, I can't pay my rent now. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, what makes you stand out as a candidate? I think what makes me stand out as a candidate is the fact that I am clearly passionate about what I'm doing. I'm not, I haven't attempted to go for a populist vote. I haven't attempted to mobilise my friends who I could have easily done. I think I've demonstrated that I'm running because I have a reason to run as opposed to I've, I've it's the end point of my student career where I've taken various positions and now I'm going to be SD president because it's now my turn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next question. Uh, what do you think the most pressing issue students of Warwick face today? I think the most pressing issue that we face, which was, I'm not sure if we can say a single one. I think, A, like, there's the problem of graduate employment. The yeah. fact that a lot of people who are, who are going to graduate are going to be in for a shock because I spoke to a lot of people who seem to think because they're at Warwick and because Warwick is a high employment university, they may need to get a degree. Mm -hmm. And they're forgetting about like, all the extra group activities that you need because getting a 2 one's is no longer enough. Most people who graduate now have a 2 one. And getting a first is they mean enough because a lot of universities now give away first. And I think students need to realise that there is a lot of competition out there and we're not just competing against graduates. Like the recessions meant that a lot of people who are, who are more qualified than us are now applying for the same jobs as us. It's true. Uh, next thing I was going to ask, you say you haven't run a populist campaign, we mentioned the posters, you said you haven't mobilised your friends. Is sort of winning really important for you or are you just here to raise the issues? For me, um, for example, if I lost, mm -hmm. then I know I lost because my campaign wasn't good enough, as opposed to I didn't get enough of my friends to vote. Yeah. So 
for me, it's not even a matter of winning the yes presidency. Like, um, it, it wasn't something that I hoped to do. I sort of decided on a whim to do it, and then my friends sort of didn't think I'd do it, and I sort of did it to prove a point. But then once I started actually looking up stuff about the SU, that's when I got angry, and it's mostly on an, an, like anger mode. Because when I found out that the SU hadn't released any comments about the fact that slavery auctions happened in Kelsey's, that for me meant that I didn't recognise the legitimacy of Ben Sumner's presidency. Fair enough, it's an interesting point to finish on. We are out of time. Uh, thank you very much. Very, very interesting. Um, best of luck. Thank you.